Hey guys, so today we are going to make an easy, easy, easy scene card. I know sometimes there's a bit of a kind of like a hesitancy to make a scene card just because you don't quite know what you want to do. You kind of like have a vague idea of what might want to happen, but then it just kind of doesn't seem to work well. <laughs> so what's going to happen is we're going to start with making our card base and then I'm going to do a mat that is five and a quarter by four. And then I'm going to do another mat that is going to be five by three and three or three and four three and three fourths. <laughs> oh my goodness. Then we're gonna go ahead and kind of move on to our easy Kind of our easy mode of <laughs> a scene card. So what you want to do is we're going to use this la the last mat that we made as kind of a guideline. So we did three and three fourths. So we're going to do a fourth of an inch smaller. So three and a half. And then we did five. So then we're going to want four and three fourths. But, in, but then we're going to go ahead and do the next one. Now, it doesn't quite matter at this point, but you're, well, it matters now. <laughs> you're going to decide if you want your, I like to do my wallpaper first, you know, your wallpaper for your scene card. And that's the one that I make, I tend to make a little bit bigger. Like I tend to just go ahead and do the full size. So that way it kind of adds a little bit of weight and a little bit of um, dimension, a little bit of dimension. So when I'm choosing my floor paper, I go ahead and make this the size that I actually want it. So you're going to do your three and a half. If you're doing these measurements, you can always make it bigger. It doesn't matter. And then I'm going to do about two and a half inches and that should give me a pretty great floor length. Then you're going to take a strip of white or any kind of color, brown, black, and you're going to do half an inch by three and three quarters or no, it's three and a half, my bad. Let me check just one more time, making sure. Three and a half. Yep. You know, measure twice, cut once. Huge, you know, huge time saver. So then we're going to go ahead and squ switch gears and go back to the card base. We're just going to go ahead and score it so it's ready for when we are ready to put our card together. So four and a quarter. Flip it over and then score it. Or just score a piece of paper in half, you know. You don't have to have the fancy tools. It just comes in handy. Okay. So now that we have kind of our base done, we're going to go ahead and assemble. So I'm going to use my ATG gun. ATG gun. You use whatever you want. I'm going to start with my wallpaper. 
So this is kind of like a, like a recipe for a cake. You start with your base. I feel like every, <laughs> every card is kind of like a, kind of like a recipe. Just like a cake, you know, that you just, you're just putting the icing on or, you know, the decorations. You are frosting your cake. <laughs> so, you know, you have your book, your card base. And in this particular case, you're doing a scene card. At least one, you know, very simple like this. So you're going to do a mat that's going to go all the way around. This is like the base, right? Well, not the base, but like the frosting. You got your card base, you have your frosting, and then you have the wallpaper piece, which I guess would be, I don't know, <laughs> I'm lost in cake terms, but you kind of guess what I am talking about though, right? I actually think I'm going to go ahead and cut a little bit more off of this because I don't think that, I think I made it a smidge too big for a floor. So I think I'm going to go ahead and cut it at two. Actually, let's do one and three quarters. Because I feel like that was just way too big. So when doing your flooring, you kind of want to choose, you know, wallpaper floor or wallpapers and flooring that would kind of, you know, match an actual wallpaper and floor, but this time I went a little psychedelic just because I'm doing a Christmas card. So it's a little out there compared to what a normal flooring or wallpaper would look like. So this is how you get it to look like an actual room. You have your wallpaper, you have your floor, and then you have your baseboard. So that's really what connects that with your eyes. <laughs> it's your it's an optical illusion, I guess, if you want to call it that. And that's how it kind of sets in the mind the best. So then, since you have all of your frosting on, I guess. <laughs> We're going to keep rolling with this cake term, I guess. I'm going to go ahead and place one of my objects, which so happens to be a tree. And he, the tree is going to be kind of in the background a bit more. So it's going to, you know, it's going to be in the foreground. No background. So it's going to be a little closer to the baseboard, a little closer to the wallpaper. And then he's going to be a little closer, which I'm actually going to put him on foam. So that way he looks like he's popping up. So he looks like he's closer. But you don't have to do that. It's kind of just a little bit more trickery. <laughs> it's a little bit more, a little bit more work just to kind of make it look a little bit more convincing, I guess. Gotta get his little legs here. I'm going to go just cut my foam tape in half. Just like that. Stick it on his back, his legs. And I'm going to go ahead and take my backers off and you can do this with you know any kind of image 
It doesn't even have to be like a little boy or, you know, it can be landscapes if you want. You just kind of have to remember the formula. And then it's the easiest way. But it's really just the the ba the baseboard that really just brings out the the setting. So, and of course, picking papers that look like a normal room work the best too. But that's the easiest way to make a scene card. It's and it's fast. You don't have to really think about it. It's just, okay, I take, you know, two pieces of paper that kind of would match and you would think of someone putting in a hole more, maybe even an outside, you know. So I had to get the little foamies off of him. So he's going to go down here just because he's a little closer. And I actually forgot to put foam under the little balls as ornaments. They've got to be popped up as well. And you can even put like a window there. You could do whatever you want. So now you can go ahead and put this mat on top of your other mat. Or if you just want to put it on your card, that works as well. Oops, <laughs> my card base just flew at me. And then go ahead and take your mat. Get your card base ready. And line it on up. Like so. You have a very, very easy scene card. Might even put a little sentiment up there. I don't know. Probably wait until I actually use it to decide what I want to do with it. But that's it. All you need to do is three pieces of paper, a baseboard, and your mats. I think that's pretty simple. And then, of course, your images of who or what you want to put in the room. I mean, <laughs> I think that is the easiest scene card that I, I have ever done. I don't know about anybody else, but I think that's the easiest. And I thought I would share it with you guys, because I, if you're going to be doing, uh, like, assembly line style cards for Christmas, or any holiday, really, or even just a present, try it. I think you'll do, a, you'll get a lot done. So there he is. He's decorating this tree. Well, I hope you guys liked this video. And I hope you're having a crazy day. Not too crazy, good crazy, not bad crazy. And I really hope you give this a try. Let me know and put it on my Facebook page if you do. I want to see all your guys' combinations. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys later. Bye.